we're moving on now to the fourth aircraft. We're getting close to your pick here. We just got one more to go after this. So this is another plane that you went nuts over. This was oh, another yeah. one. Um, so it is Italian. The Savoia Marchetti SM-96 II. Now, I think the main reason you went ballistic over this was because of the absolute freaking unit of an engine this was planned to have. Right. So this thing was having a, a 24-cylinder Alfa Romeo engine that had... Now, now I'm having a little trouble remember, like 3,600 horsepower. 2,300. Okay, so that uh, I was I was getting too and it's excited. Not twenty four cylinder, but twenty eight cylinder. Twenty eight cylinder. Okay, thank you for thank you for reminding me. I'm for those that are curious. The exact name of this engine is the Alfa Romeo eleven o one. That's the and, name of the engine. And it, that ha, is there was lot. one built. There they actually built this thing. Right, and that's a lot of that's a lot of go for a light fighter. Um, so that means to me that this particular plane would be stupid fast. Um, eh, I would say let's make it nearly heavy fighter fast. Um, exactly. Now, again, and again, I want to, I'm correcting myself a little bit more than anything. So, uh, Corvus is partially right here. The, um, what I mentioned is that, um, the, with the engine it was initially producing 2300 horsepower but they were still tinkering with it and had they and they were estimating that once they had finished with all the tweaks and the modifications that it'd be reaching up to 2600 horsepower so ah, okay. yeah so corvus is partially right there he just got the first digit a little off <laughs> there you go so now he, to Thank put you. this in perspective ladies and gentlemen this thing with the second engine rating, the with the 2,600 horsepower, this engine would have eclipsed all but four variants of the American Pratt and Whitney R2800 engine. All but four of them. Right. So, so that's why we say in game it would be, it would be heavy fighter fast. So, pick a pick a heavy fighter that that's um, that's sort of the middle of the. Let's call it the middle of the line, uh, as far as speed goes, and that's what this thing should should approach. Okay, so that means that it ha there has to be a compromise because you can't make a fighter as fast as a heavy fighter, a light fighter as fast as a heavy fighter, and not have some compromises. Well, <clears throat> the thing had uh, the thing had a lot of guns, so it um, it's a uh, uh, four by twenty uh, millimeter guns yes. and two. 50 cals, so 12.7. Yep, two 12.7 um, millimeter Safat machine guns, which and so that, accidentally... That, yeah, that's a loadout. Basically the same as what the RE2005 has for its machine guns. It's the same, roughly the same thing. It's only got... What? Let's see here. It's only got two more... Well, no, it's only got one extra cannon compared to the RE2005, but it's... So I would say that for a simile, it just be the RE two thousand five, just more. Right. It's and so not, now, except for maneuverability, everything but maneuverability. That's the only difference between what with this would be and the RE two thousand five is that this plane would have more of everything but maneuverability, and I would say it would be roughly on par with the re 2005 possibly slightly less turning right um and uh, you'd have to you probably have to hurt it in some other way too to, to make it fit within the game um uh, i love fast and hard hitting guns so that's i mean that's why i was attracted to this particular uh this particular potential for premium also because italy i i'd like to see more italian planes in the game it's like swedish right uh having one swedish plane in the game is pretty cool but i would like to have more uh and, and the same goes with italy italy produced quite a few interesting airplanes during world war ii and, and uh, pre-war and post-war as well so there's 
there would be room for a whole tech tree line. And maybe starting with this particular light fighter be a make it uh you know, give it a start. Although you, you know, he started already with RE five, so RE two two thousand. I mean, so and let's... to be fair, the Italians were also experimenting with jet engines as well, right around right. the t- same time as Britain and Germany. So, and they actually had some aircraft that took off with jet engines too. So there is so, this as well. They they had an interest in jet engine technology. So so I mean, it would uh, if you're going to add a if you're going to add a tech tree line to the to the you know people have their have their ideas it's like adding a, a grumman line to the to the you know the fighter line to the to uh the u.s um to the tech u.s tree, yes uh, and yeah, which i am tree. an advocate of for those at home that and, and I, that's a good idea um but my my thinking is italian because you get some different kinds of planes um and I mean, uh, different from the other, the way the other planes play in the game. Uh, uh, maybe make them something like some of the Soviet lines, because we know that probably Soviet planes will not be added uh, again. For because quite of the some current, time, at least, yes. Yeah, the current political situation kind of argues against. So, <clears throat> so adding an Italian line makes sense in, in that way. Uh, but adding it to the Euro line is fine too. Uh, Absolutely. But, but I'd love to have this because now I've got now I'll have reason to have my fighter pilot, my Italian fighter pilot, single pilot that I've got. Uh, now he has two planes to play instead of uh, instead of just one. Exactly. So, so I can I can grow him up organically in the game <laughs> instead of having to spend uh, uh, spend unreasonable amounts of. Uh, uh, free XP to uh, give them pilot skills. Oh, they grow up so fast, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. I wish that was the case with air, with pilots and board planes. Oh my god, it gets nuts. That's an aside, though. Anyway, so we're going to fly some t- some Tier 7. I will be flying the RE-2005 as a simile to the... I'm going to admit, absolute mouthful of the name of this plane, the SM-96-2. So, right. let's have a gander. So, again, folks, this aircraft, should it be added, would probably have an extra 20mm gun compared to the RE-2005. Otherwise, same armament. Similar loadout. Just right. much, I mean, not much, but quite a bit faster. Not Maybe not even less turning than the RE-2005, but... With the RE-2005, the handling just fits. It feels right. So yes. if they can nail this again with the SM-96-2, that'd be right. incredible. And, and maybe to balance out the fact that it's going to be speedy just right out of the box, instead of giving it two engine slots, give it two airframe slots. Potentially, so, yes. So let's say that you wanted it to be the you know total you know total speed build. Right, you you give it uh, polished, give it polished skin, and, and let's say lightweight wing, for, so you get the um, so you get the the max climb rate, uh, you know, and and, um, and the the boost, uh, the boost equipment, right? So you'd have, uh, so you'd be stupid fast instead of just merely fast. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah, that'd be so, definitely would so be something. That, there's an argument. You you would set it up as two engine slots, but but again, War Gaming can help uh, uh, balance planes out by giving it, uh, by buffing some some of the hidden stats, some of the soft stats, uh, or or nerfing some of the soft stats to make to make it so it fits in to the tier. Uh, I think you called for the the SM uh, to be in the in tier eight. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. So. What do we got here? Well, oh, it's not a surprise. A lot of familiar faces. Yeah. Let's go. It's, uh, it's not going to be easy, folks. Uh, we're going to do know. our damnedest, but I'm not, even I'm not so sure. Yeah, no, it's uh, we're we're not um, we're at a disadvantage here, and I I I picked a multi-roll that's 
that that I'd love to play, but bottom tier, it's it's not great. It's not great. And uh, Lipstick Torpedo is uh, one of our clan mates, and he is good. So. Oh no, he's not no longer. No, he's in he's an ace now. It's Vito. That's oh, is he? It. Yeah. He, oh, oh, oh. An ace. I, uh, I missed his. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of former OWSS that are in ace. Now. I uh, I missed uh, I missed uh, his departure. My apologies. Uh, no, fine. And my apologies to Lipstick. Uh, I didn't mean to. <clears throat> didn't mean to uh, sully his reputation like that. Let's see. It's, uh, I, I forgot that the uh, that this plane is is Ow. is a fuck wolf, and so you have to uh, you have to treat it that way. There we go. Right. Now the other thing I think I want to point out with the SM ninety six too is that this th that thing would probably have a better altitude rating than this does even. Yeah, because if you want it to chase after uh, heavy fighters, you're going to have to give it some altitude, some altitude performance got to do something to make it uh, to make it a, a, a heavy fighter counter um, and the problem is of course is that the heavy fighters at tier 8 uh, you know the, got to do something about the got to do something about the p61 which you know that's it's a thing it's a thing oops oh yeah Now I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get janked. So I'm tying up uh, I'm tying up lipstick over here uh, by using the by using the the weird characteristics oh that the Focke Wolf line has about dumping speed and so I tied him up in a in a rolling scissors for 45 seconds maybe a little longer um, because the this plane. Uh, you can dump speed readily and do all kinds of janky maneuvers with it. Um, that's that's its hidden talent. And it's... Uh, it, it really doesn't uh, work great against Tier 8 planes. Um, but it works. Thanks to that, we did get the middle. Unfortunately, the bots also know this trick, so they dump speed equally well. Um, but, we'll do what we can. Oh. <laughs> yeah. There we go. We're doing a good job parroting what they're doing, so that's working. Oh boy, I think. Oh boy. Yeah, we gotta. We, Ow. We, oh yeah. What do do there? 
No, Beto's good. Oh, am I gonna stick my uh, stick my foot in my mouth? Is is Beto still part of a uh, yeah, he part is, of a yes. Okay. He is coming in behind you now. Yeah. Try to get out of uh, get out of dodge, but no. There's only so much you can do in it. it uh, Fuck Wolf 190D is it really uh, top tier. It does okay. Uh, bottom tier, not so much. It's it's just not good. Bottom tier. No, it's not. All right. Let's uh, have our folks go over there. Now I'm going to go to the Northwest Garrison. Since you've got the... Since you've got that uh, uh, military base tied up. Uh-oh. Except you don't. You've got... <clears throat> you've got some... you got some issues up there. That typhoon is coming around. Oh, I, I thought it was going to come around on you, but guess not. I uh, <clears throat> I couldn't get up to that uh, B-32. It's way high out of my altitude, so I was gonna I was gonna give it give it a shot, but but no soap. Decided to smack into a mountain. Yeah, they uh, they do love a little mountain smacking, don't they? <laughs> All right. I guess I'll I'll come over and help with the air base because why not? Oh, he's outside of the circle. Yeah, if we could, if we can take this air base, we might have an opportunity here. We'll see what we can't do. Oh boy, we got a lot of company in the missile base. Yeah, I'm not surprised by that. That's where I'd go if I were in a plane that could do it. I love it when the uh, when the announcer tells us what we already know. The military base has been captured by the enemy. Stay by, <laughs> pilots. All right. And they've taken the lead. Crap. Yeah. Yeah, Beto no. basically dominated the game. No surprise. Well, that's not, a, that's not a surprise there. He, he's a very good pilot. And we're bottom tier in two planes that really aren't uh, carry planes. So. At least not bottom only... tier. Yeah. No, top tier, I think we'd have been, we'd, we'd have been okay. Uh, one of the things I like about the... Uh, 109D is that the the ordnance reload is fast, you and you can you can really go around and cap cap cap. So yeah, he got twenty one thousand. My God, man. 
Yeah, no, he's well, good. That, well, that was a good showing of ODOASS skills, so that's for sure. Yep. So, not really a loss, just, you know, two people eh. were on the wrong side of that coin. Yeah. We'll get him next time. Yeah. Count on it. But, yeah, the um, SM96-2 would certainly have had a better showing of that. Yes, uh, it would have been a, more than a match for the XP-67. More than a match. Right, well, with that one out of the way...